Before we dive into today's Cowboys mailbag, go get yourself a Cowboys face mask, especially if you're going to try to go, go to a game this season. Head over to chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. They're up to 30% off bunch of different variety packs, two and three and even four as well. So check the comments and the description. You can get yours today at chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. Get things going with a super chat from Medeal7. Eric Reed, go sign him. Franchise records, no off the field or locker room issues, no teams calling. Come on, man. I do not understand why Eric Reed is unsigned. Now, I was told he's kind of a weird dude and a little crazy, but that was just one guy who told me that, and I was told, and maybe it makes sense, but he's a good football player. I agree. I'd go sign him. I don't get it. Maybe maybe he's just better or worse than I think he is. Either way, he's better than Darian Thompson. Get him in here. Obsessions ATF, the Dak profile pick. Can the Cowboys trade for Quinn and Williams also pay Dak no matter what? Maybe not no matter what. Um, I didn't even want to justify this with a rumor on it because it didn't really fit for the Cowboys. There was a 70-follower Twitter account who said, Jets are shopping Quinn and Williams, and people were like, oh, it's real. Stop falling for stupid fake accounts, guys. Um, if you can trade for him, go do it, because he's a good football player. I don't think the Jets are that stupid, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. From Jamie, drink, we get Earl, we need a leader to set the defense. Bottoms up. Is a leader someone who punches teammates? And gets in fights and gets kicked off his own team. Because that doesn't seem like a leader to me. I mean, maybe it's like the we're all going to go drink the Kool-Aid together now leader. But I'm not sure that's what you want. So, look, I, I get I get Earl Thomas. No, it, it was a um, – I'm drawing a blank on, on the uh, the mass suicide that, that, that took place there. Uh, but that that's what the reference was there. Dr drinking the Kool-Aid. Not good. If you want Earl, okay. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. From Alex, do you think it's possible the Cowboys could improve overall if the offense plays a bit slower, keeping the defense off the field as a result? <sighs> sure, I guess. Here's the problem. Is that you still get the same number of, of, of possessions relative to the opposing team. The job is the on the offensive side is to maximize your possessions. And it, 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 ideally, yes, you can run the football and you have a huge, massive 10-play, 75 yards, rather it takes up like six minutes. That's the ideal outcome. The problem is this Cowboys team has not run the ball efficiently, and their tempo has in part been why the offense has been so good. So your job on offense is to give yourself the best chance of winning, not to give yourself the best chance of keeping it close. You might have an outcome where your chance of winning is 45% and your chance of getting blown out is 15%. You would rather have that than the numbers be 40% to win and getting blown out is 5%. You want to have your best chance of winning. So look, if you missed rumors... I'm fine with giving Zeke the ball a little bit more. I have no problem with that. I want him to be your closer. If you can run the ball and have success, do it. The problem is the Cowboys haven't had success on the ground this year. That might have to change with Dak now out, but it's not a guarantee to have more success. That's not what this Cowboys team has been. Now, if you did miss rumors, hey, you know what? Make sure you're subscribed because we're live on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Hit that big red button and subscribe. That way you don't miss a single thing here on America's Team. Eric Rodriguez, keep Dak, tank, and trade down for many more picks. Look, yeah, I kind of agree. Now, it's not as simple as it might sound, which, you know, that's fair, but I get it. If you can trade down with all these needs on defense, I have always been give me the quantity over the over like the high end quality. If you get a top 10 pick, I trade down. 
Give me an extra third or an extra second or an extra fourth. That gets me another shot at what in reality is a lottery. You're never going to bat 100. You're lucky if you, if you bat 500 in the NFL draft. So yeah, give me more chances to get impact players. From Trey Brocker, with Hill out for the year, what is your confidence level for the interior defensive line? And what, if anything, can we do to hold the line of scrimmage? I mean, with Hill without here, Hill, it's a zero because they suck on the interior. Dontari Poe, Antoine Woods, Tyrone Crawford, Neville Gallimore, Tristan Hill, they have all set a horrible job of stopping the run. They have sucked this year. They're not good at it. In terms of confidence and what can we do, I don't know. They tried to run five-man fronts, and they lost every one-on-one -on -one battle. I don't know what to do at that point. It's probably the players, not scheme at that point. Molten Citrus, will the play action open up a 100-yard day for Michael Gallup? Um, the Cowboys, when they've utilized play action, have been more bootlegs for Dak and quick passes to Cooper and stuff over the middle. I think you might see a 100-yard day in the near future for Gallup, but the Cowboys have used him as a vertical shot guy. So maybe, but they just have used him more vertically and less as a featured target for the Cowboys. In reality, Gallup's been wide receiver three for this. Now, he's been clutch, and he's been good, but in terms of how they're used, Lamb has been their over-the-middle slot fiend, deep-crossing post guy to immense success. Cooper's been kind of the lead dog, and then Gallup's been the vertical clutch guy, which, hey, it works. So they've all been good, but who has been the top receiver this year? Type C for Cooper, G for Gallup, or L for CD Lamb. I think I actually might go L instead. From Fat Sushi Man, what's the status on Cheeto? Uh, I haven't heard much. He was eligible to come off of IR this year, or this week, excuse me. I want him back out there. That defense needs him because I'll let you know uh, a little secret here. Daryl Worley, bad. Jordan Lewis might want to move to safety. Trevon Diggs has been getting roasted in coverage. You need Cheeto out there. So I don't know if he plays. Hopefully sooner than later, the Cowboys desperately need to get Cheeto Bayouzier back out there on the field. TKG, what will our record be now with Dalton? And do we make the playoffs, and do we pay Dak in the offseason? I, th I think you, if you include franchise tagging, Dak is paying him, yes. Outright extension, probably not. Uh, make the playoffs, you have a chance. If you were in any other division, the answer would have been no. But in the NFC East, I, you got yourself an opportunity there. Uh, as for Dalton, I think he wins six or seven games which is still going to put you in the mix late in the season. All right, next up here from Cryptic, Bench, oh, sorry, he's, he's yelling. Bench Steele, he's not working. Um, yeah, I would bench Terrence Steele too, but the Cowboys apparently don't like Connor McGovern. So unless you want to try Cam Irving at right tackle, you don't have a whole lot of other options because you're down to your offensive tackle four and five. So sorry on that one. From Ryan Rodriguez, do you think Mike Nolan is better than Rod Marinelli? I mean, the results so far have been no. They haven't been. I would argue the talent is also not as good as what Rod had here. Uh, in, in the end, you're, the answer might be Rod wasn't good enough and neither was Mike Nolan. Maybe go find somebody else. Maybe it's a player thing. So I will say this. You can't go back to Rod or wish for Chris Richard again because, guys, we all agreed they weren't good enough. So when the teacher asks you, hey, what's the answer to this question? And you say, well, is it four? And she goes, no. And then you go, well, how about five? And she goes, no, again, you don't go back to four. It's not four. We know that's not the answer. We got to try something else. Going back to what didn't work is just asking for more failure, okay? I don't know why I'm mad at you guys. I'm sorry. Now, we do have some deals today. Cowboys face coverings up to 30% off. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. Four packs, some new versions. These two packs just came out as well. They got individual ones. They got three packs as well. Go check them out 
at chatsports.com slash Cowboys Mass. Check the comments and the description. They are in there. Got a drink for Eric Pena's Super Chat. Or Erica, Erica, sorry, Erica, my bad. We sign Earl, trade for an impact player on defense. That'll improve the unit big time. And with Dalton, I think we'll be better with less turnovers. Uh, you have an argument to an extent. I think you would be better on defense. Also, Dalton's been more turnover prone in his NFL career than Dak, so I'm not really sure how that one works out. Um, if you get better on defense, yes, you'd be a better football team. In all honesty, guys, I think we need to be honest with this Cowboys defense. I'm not convinced they're two players away. It might be more than that. With the way the secondary is, ugh, just might be more than that. All right, from Sage, is Tank back after last game? I hope so. I mean, he was awesome. Now, he probably should have had some more sacks, and I am concerned that over the past calendar year, Lawrence just might not be as good of a finisher anymore. But, I mean, he played out of his mind against the Giants. He loves playing that team. Uh, so I hope that's the case. Hope Jalen's back, too. Uh, is Also, is Dalton Nick Foles 2.0? And also, kind of same question, if Dalton wins the Super Bowl, what happens with Dak? Guys, this is a rare uh, admission for me. If you win a Super Bowl with Andy Dalton, keep him. I, I don't care. It's been how long? Like, I mean, there are a lot of you guys in the comments that have never seen a Super Bowl win for this team. I don't even really rem remember it because I'm 28 years old. Like, or almost 28 years old. I cheated there. Um, Penalty on 27 for another month. Uh, uh, <laughs> look, it's been a long time. So the, the answer is no. You're not, Dalton's probably not going to be Nick Foles. Like 99% chance that he's not. If he wins you a Super Bowl, keep him. Sorry, Dak. Dalton did it. I don't care. I, I will enjoy the win. So let me know in the comments, by the way, how long you have been a Cowboys fan. Hunter Metting, should the Cowboys sign Cordy Glenn to try and get Steele out of there? Cordy Glenn, uh, I, I know he's a name, and he used to be a really good tackle. He sucks. Um, Cordy Glenn got fined by the Bengals because he was arguing with his coaches and all that, and like, there's a reason no one's brought him back. He's washed. And, and on top of that, in all honesty, signing players profoundly difficult right now from Zach Flores here why isn't Connor McGovern being used <laughs> it's really tough for me to say because we've never seen him like he wasn't at camp last year he's coming off the injury I would have liked to have seen the Cowboys start McGovern at right guard and kick Martin out to right tackle the reason he's not playing over Connor Williams it's because Sewell is better. By the way, we, we mentioned Tank and Jalen Smith playing better. Sewell had his best game ever against the Giants and also came off a good game previously. He looks much improved the past two matchups. As for Wade Phillips, <laughs> that bridge might have been burnt. And also, a massive scheme change is an end-of-season thing, not a, a mid-season move. Alejandro Gomez, Dan Quinn for DC. Look, again, after the year ends... I'd explore it. I would absolutely explore it. I think that makes a lot of sense for the Dallas Cowboys. All right, Eric Pena, if the D plays with the passion like they did last week, they can improve, and Dak was a turnover machine this year. Uh, I appreciate, I appreciate the, the, the super chat. I don't think it's just a passion thing. Um, it helps that the Giants are really bad on offense. And yeah, there were too many turnovers by Dak, but his interception percentage was the same as Russell Wilson this year. So that's not that bad. And the fumbles, look, what do you expect when the offensive line hits him from the blind side with no protection? So I, I'm not really counting Dak as a turnover machine. Like Daniel Jones is a turnover machine. Dak was the main reason you didn't get blown out for four weeks in a row. So it's a downgrade at quarterback, but... If you cut the turnovers out in general, because you're because Dalton Schultz fumbled multiple times, Zeke's fumbled a bunch, that point is very good, and that will help out the Cowboys if they cannot turn the ball over as an entire unit. 
from Poppy L. Been a fan for 55 years. I had the luck to attend the 93 and the 96 Super Bowls when the Cowboys won. That would have been awesome, man. And I can tell you, it's a lot more fun when they win. <laughs> I bet it is, Poppy. I appreciate that super chat. And hopefully in the near future, the Cowboys have a chance to win another one.